this is, uh, you know, what would happen if you were um, out of the market on those good days. So it's an opportunity cost. So, for example, I was talking about our mate who got out at 5,000 um, and it went to 6,700. Now, why I don't like this chart is you have to be a really, really, really bad market timer to only be out of the market on the good days. Yeah? Now, most of the time is when you've got really good days and really bad days on the market, you've got high volatility, something sort of happened. So, generally speaking, if you're out of the market on the good days, you're most likely out of the market on the bad days as well. But you can see sort of like the effect of being out of the market on those good days. Uh, and, you know, you are missing a lot of opportunity um, being just staying invested rather than, than uh, being out. Uh, there was another study done by Delbar in 2016, and he found that he studied a number of market timers over a period of time, and he found that if they just stayed invested, they would get 8.19%, and in fact, they on average got 4.67%. Why I wanted to highlight this uh, study in particular was actually what he said, though. What he said in the study was the data also shows that when investors react, they generally make the wrong decision. 